Hey, good morning, guys. Check this out. I just stopped at a Sitco here, and I'm heading down to do a quick photo shoot. And look what's right here at the pumps. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean, and I'm Sean. something sweet about this now it doesn't even have a front windshield but I can tell you this thing is not stock look at the front air dam on it is this yours oh okay check that out guys yeah this is there is nothing stock about this. It's got a beautiful patina. Got some good weight reduction there on the side. But there is nothing stock about this. Uh, windshield's gone. Looks like somebody was going to put a box or something there because there's something drawn out there as if something it's was. For sale. Huh? It's hey. for sale. Junkyards and Barn Finds on my YouTube channel. Oh, dope. So I just happened to pull up for gas and saw you. I'm going to a photo shoot. So, I mean, what's it under the hood? Because it's um, obviously not. LS3 with twin 56s. Did you build it? Yes, sir. What's your first name? Bull. Bull? Hey, Bull. I'm Sean. There you go. Knew this wasn't going to be stock just from the fans. Yeah, hop on up there. So, where are you just taking it somewhere right now? or just? I'm bringing it from my dad's shop back to the house. I just uh, got to run it by the car wash and get it cleaned up. Do you build the engine too? Yes, sir. Everything. Oh, tell me a little bit about it if you want. It's got 82-pound uh, injectors, uh, stage two sloppy mechanics. Um, camshaft uh what's true actually it's a 5.3 iron block okay it's got the ported ls3 uh intake on it uh, 102 millimeter throttle body uh 56 millimeter turbos uh my buddy ivan did the uh pie cuts there's 28 pie cuts per pipe um what do you run for a tranny 400 or? it's a built 350 tranny okay uh it was in another race car with a thousand horsepower big block and a 150 shot and uh i grabbed that and put it in here and uh i built a, like a manual style oh okay seagate shifter in there with the, the lockout and everything it's got a challenger hearse grip on it oh sweet uh one piece aluminum drive shaft conversion out of a 08 GMC Envoy. Oh, Almost everything yeah, on here came okay. from the junkyard. So you don't even have. So is this this made for quarter mile? What do you run a 356 is or no, 411? No, it's just made to do donuts with. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. a burnout car. It's just a play toy. Are you taking it? Uh, were, were you going to go down and take it to Cleus McFarland's place for the burnout contest or anything? Or just? Oh, uh, probably. I don't know. I haven't been there yet. Uh, oh, okay. I built my Nova and I was rocking it around with that motor and, until it fell in love with a tree down on Main Street. Yeah, that kind of so sucks. I just pulled everything out of it and started putting it in my Apache. That's actually the. Uh, Sorry about the joke nice. from my other toys. Oh, okay. But that's my spoiler off of the Apache, or off of the uh, Nova. That's my radiator off of the Nova. I got two big carbon fiber intakes that are going to bring the uh, the air intake for the turbos down into the grill area. So uh, I got to take that radiator out, and I'm going to run an external pump, bring it back here. Oh. I got every uh, little pumps over there uh tank everything's out of my nova i was gonna say this is looks like it's been in something else before so yeah yeah it was in my nova for a hot minute we had the trunk cut out of the nova these shocks were in my nova these are 2015 jeep jk shocks oh wow pro comp resis it's a 1970 uh uh gm 12 bolt rear 308 gears 
Well, sweet. And then where did you get the truck from, or is it just something you guys have had for a while? I bought the truck from my brother uh, a couple years back, but I had the Nova, so it just sat in the yard and didn't do anything. Got and it got a nice patina put on it. Yeah, yeah. So once I crashed the Nova, it was time to get started on it. My brother had it for about three years before me, and he bought it from an English fella in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. What year is that with the it's double a 59. light? 59, okay. So it kind of looks like the 57, but it's got the double lights. Yeah, the 57, 6, and 5s had single headlights. The 8 and 9s had doubles. Uh, but I was thinking about carving this up and uh, doing a carbon fiber layover it and putting uh, like Dodge Challenger headlights oh, okay. in here. So I'd have two headlights still, but they'd be like halos and right, connected. Right, right. So... Well, that's freaking cool, man. Like I said, I just like, kind of see it. I drive around the country, and and I was just heading down to Streetside Classics to go do something yep. down there, and I saw yours, and I did a U-turn. I'm like, nah, that's that ain't that ain't just an old truck. <laughs> they sold a few so, cars for me. Uh, when you see when you see this on the front of something, it yeah, probably tells you it's not. I built these be out of uh, uh, recycled highway signs. Okay. Yeah, from uh, from the recycling center down the road. So this ain't your first or second build? No, I mean, kind close of. to it. I cut 11 inches out of the bed and shortened it. It's a long bed. So then I took that metal and I cut it up and I made the side pieces for the fins. I made the uh, roll pan. Um, I just put the exhaust on a week and a half ago. Now, is it, and then you had to take, obviously remove fuel system, rerun the lines for here because they you want. Oh yeah, it's back. all aftermarket. You, you don't uh, want that in the back seat anything. or anything. Right. Is the tank still behind the seats or? No, no. Okay. It's all, uh, I mean, I knew the tank was here that you're using, but so you went ahead and removed that. So. It's all dyno man. Oh okay. The seats so. are out of a '79 Fox body. Uh, the, so we're going to uh, use a Luan uh, for the um, windshield or? Not sure yet. Uh, I, I actually bought a windshield for it, but I wasn't paying too much attention that day, and I bought one for a '59 Chevy car instead of a truck. Uh, about five inches too short, and I scratched my head on that for about two months. Uh, but yeah, I, you probably uh, melt. I still need to get a windshield. I need if you still have that one, you could probably put some Luan over it, melt it down, and I mean, and form, use it as a form. The company online that I had never dealt with was nice enough to take that windshield. Oh, they were. Oh, okay. that was that was a big thing because I mean I didn't have the box anymore or any of oh, that, wow. so I had to rebox it and change it, everything. It was a real uh, pain. Oh, well, it's really cool. Then you said it is for sale. Yeah, um, I got it so, posted up right now for uh, twenty-one grand the way it sits. Yeah, um, but email if anybody that, that we have because I've got eighteen thousand subscribers. Yeah, my email stuff. is uh, Senator Not Sure at Yahoo. Senator S C N A T O R. Yep, Not Sure, all one word, all N O T S U R E at Gmail. At Yahoo. Oh, at Yahoo. At okay, Yahoo. we'll put that under if somebody wants to reach out. Where and you're located right here around the yeah, Tampa uh, area. My dad's shop is Auto Works on Massachusetts Avenue. Um, and uh, we're always there. We got a bunch of hot rods. We're oh, always dude? tinkering. I should yeah. go up there and, and do if he wants. If he'd let yeah. me in. I, I just bought my brother's. It's a 1970 uh, short bed C10, and it has the LS3 that I took the intake and everything off of for this one. He switched his over to carbureted and did a blow through demon carb and a, a GT45 turbo. Uh, he posted his up for sale just being funny and then right. i posted mine up for sale because i wanted to be funny with them right and then a bunch of people hit him up and was like hey i'm really interested in that and he was kind of interested in selling and i'm like no give me <laughs> so and then did you, as you treated the patina did you treat it I with a clear coat or did you put, just yeah. put the okay i paint and clear coat and stuff at work so okay uh, uh, that's like clear coat I had mixed up and left. I didn't know if you use like I don't know if you know Vice Grip Garage. I didn't know if you used their no. formula stuff, the oils, or if you actually clear coated it. No, I actually want to clear coat the whole truck, and then I want to get creative with some uh, spray paint and try to do some different stuff on top of it, but protect that that patina finish. Yeah, so it's got a really nice look to it. Yeah, it's hard uh, to find the turquoise ones. Yeah. So well, and is that the original paint, the turquoise? I mean, that's because it looks like it. If you've gone down to the bare metal here, yeah, it's you know, you got black, the black pine, yeah, but it's got the black pine primer, but yeah, so I don't see another color on it. It's the original color, and it was champagne gold inside, like that, right? Uh, this is all wood grain vinyl I got off of eBay five years ago and did a golf cart with it. I had oh, a 
was okay. sitting out back and I was like, well, let's see if I got enough for it. Yeah. Wood grain came out nice. Oh, very cool, man. This is like, it's so weird. I, I'm new to the area up here. Been originally down for Fort Myers. I got you. And been up here since August. And I just constantly am seeing more cars up here, just on trailers, driving around and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice car culture up here. But, uh, and then what was your dad's shop, if you want to give them a shout out too? Uh, it's Auto Works. It's uh, 8020 Massachusetts Avenue. Okay. Um, and that's in? Right here, Newport Ritchie. Newport Ritchie, Ritchie. okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, he's been there for, I don't know, a decade. And they're a rod shop plus a regular body shop? or? Well, no, they're a regular mechanic shop. Oh, okay. We just tinker with the hot rods. Just for fun? Yeah. Okay. And we have some hot rod customers and, and stuff, but mostly we do regular oil changes. All the way down to right now, I think they're doing a V8 swap and a Lexus coupe. Oh wow! Okay, so you guys play with everything. Yeah, everything. So, well, there you go, guys. So if you're in the area and you need anything from an oil change to an LS swap, give them a call. See if they can take you in. So I checked out this bumper. This is what kind of drove me to this was this and the bumper. So tell me a little bit about that. So the bumper is flipped upside down just to drop it a little bit since it's a straight axle i had to find other ways to get it closer to the ground oh, okay um that's not really what makes the bumper cool what makes the bumper cool is the bumper was just all white and i let a autistic kid down the street 11 year old that's real good friends with my son jack they got out front and sanded it down and painted it and i just gave them a whole basket full of spray paints that matched the colors so wow the kids down the street little kids painted that bumper and they matched the patina perfect wow and you guys know that you know april's grandson's autistic so that's always something too that we look for is a way to get little youngins involved in the sport because if we don't get the kids involved this this will end i you know? put a picture of mateo painting that sucker on uh facebook and, I and what you have a, what's your facebook page uh it's want. joshua watts joshua j-u-s-h-a uh j-o-s-h-u-a w-a-t-t-s okay. okay. um joshua watts i think my uh my main photo right now is a picture of ken block that was my dude he was a lot of inspiration oh yeah he just passed away over the weekend with that snowmobile Super accident sad, yeah yeah but well but yeah so there you go guys try to include you can there's easy ways to include and i'll tell you what you look at this you could not tell that this was not original just oh, like you'd that be amazed. this is just a flat piece of four inch uh flat stock steel that i chopped and cut down let the kids paint it let them match it um all my cuts was done with a right angle grinder i don't i don't even have a you, you know, don't have like a plasma or cutter or something uh, like that i'm so an old just... redneck <laughs> these are shock bolts uh bushings oh okay for just a regular shock i had a package of them sitting around so i right. made my spaces out of that right uh, and that's the thing man make them like we used to when, like i tell people i remember back in the 80s we pulled an engine we just pulled up to a tree got to yes. come along and pulled yes. the engine out in about a half an hour we still do so <laughs> we still do so we have cherry pickers but we'll still find a reason to use a tree yeah it's just fun yeah, but all uh, my bins are made just by uh c-clamping the metal to this, my workbench yeah and then taking adjustable wrenches and just just doing it all just natural bins it's uh 2018 Nissan Titan wheels. Okay. 18 by nine and a half. Uh, this parking sign was from a college that closed down. Oh, okay. I did. I'm like, I couldn't figure out like, what is the parking? There's some Shop significance to it, but you just took I a just sign and gotten around to hitting it with the heat gun <laughs> and take the stickers off. Oh, okay. Man. So that's pretty funny. I don't so, know what else there is. is. Oh, that's cool though. Here is all just covered in just different places I went. Just kept uh, it along. Bring it with. What's the meaning there on the because I don't read Chinese or Japanese or that, whatever. It's actually a funny one. It's just a good luck symbol so you don't blow your rear end. Oh okay. And well, you kind of <laughs> This could be there notice. should be a lot more people with that on their rear end. Notice the way the emblems are shaped. That was another eBay uh amazing find. There you go. Well, very cool, man. This is just awesome. I have some molds at the house I built uh, to do 17 by 17. There's going to be a hole right here. 
and a big carbon fiber scoop that comes out and sucks the air in from right here. That must have been what I saw over there where you somebody's drawn yep. in the pencil. I, I was... traced it out. Yeah, I already have the molds. I just got to finish laying the, I got to sand them down and clean right. them up and then lay the carbon fiber and everything. Oh, very cool. I seen that on a SEMA truck that was like a Formula One inspired build. And that's all, everything I do just came from other crap I seen that other people hey, did. That's... Every, it like, looks pretty. <laughs> it, it's it's flattery. It's not stealing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's imitation. It's not stealing. <laughs> and I, I got people doing the same thing. I yep. got people hit me up. Hey man, would you use for this and that? And I, I'll give them whatever information they want to know. You know. Yeah. To me, it's it's not a competition. It's keeping the love alive. Yeah. So. And if you do something that somebody else likes, then you know what? If you do something somebody else likes. And that's just they're just giving you a compliment yep. if somebody asks you how to do it you know unless you're like nascar where you're making millions by beating somebody else right but then you might want to keep a secret too Use but an oversized fuel line yeah, to hide something. the extra gallon and but yeah. if if we're all just building cars that are cool then if somebody asks you just share it's all so. simple stuff oh well like i said man i appreciate it yeah man but wow i appreciate your time man so uh all right guys so there you go i'll put the contact information down the bottom and i don't get involved in the sales like you guys know and uh so very cool thanks so much for talking man yes sir Thank appreciate you. it it's good to meet all you all right you too april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one